If anyone ever finds out about how I spent the GoFundMe, I am definitely getting canceled. An international transgender activist that some of you all may know as Keppels. Hey Steve, I just took away your primary source of income. Please leave me alone and stop bullying trans people for content. And of course, Keffels and their community are doing the predictable and pulling the trans card as the only defense to the absolute nuke some ordinary gamers dropped on Keffels. Let's uh, say a little prayer for our boy Muda. This is a risky nuke to drop. This community plays dirty and I honestly commend him for having the balls to release the video. All right, well, if you don't know what happened, let me fill you in real quick. Keffels is a trans Twitch streamer that also just happens to be a horrible person, using community donations for drug binges, calling every person that criticized them transphobic, and a love for coordinating with their Twitch stream to ratio people on Twitter, with probably the help of some bots. And when I say bots, I don't mean their community. Oh, and I almost forgot teaching minors how to make bathtub hormones. There is a whole lot of stuff in this person's past, and it's absolutely disgusting. I highly encourage you to go check out the Some Ordinary Gamers video. It explains it pretty well. And honestly, this video is what needed to be done. Nukes like this come off a lot more genuine when someone has more mainstream appeal like, like Muda does. Someone that isn't politically motivated. Like, sure, I can make a highly elaborate edited piece on this subject, and I might still do so, but that just doesn't hit the same in the eyes of the public as someone like Muda just making a casual piece and just thoroughly explaining why Keffels is just such a horrible person. I feel like people are just way more able to drop their biases and listen to a message when someone like him does it. All right, enough sucking off Muda. Let's see how Keffels took it. I understand. People have criticisms of me. I don't think I am above being critiqued. That said, was it really necessary to use a transphobic caricature of me in the thumbnail while also not using my pronouns in the video announcement? Transphobic caricature? Give me a f***ing break, Keffels. Let's just say you aren't no f***ing model. But I think you know that. I think you know that you have no legitimate criticism of the hour-long video that absolutely destroyed you, showing everyone that you are just an absolutely horrible person. It's really hard to pull the whole, oh, they just don't like my politics bit when the person criticizing you isn't being political and when they just aren't a political figure. Your normal ways of blowing off criticism isn't going to work this time. Everyone is just gonna see how much of a garbage person you literally are. Hey, did you notice how everyone that is against this piece has the same criticism? And it ain't the content of the video. I find Kiff all's annoying as hell and generally dislike her as a person, but this thumbnail, not okay, dude. It's very obviously playing in a transphobic stereotypes, but I think you know that. Are you being serious right now? Lil Chromie, bro, I'm sorry to break it to you, but that's just how Keffels looks. It's literally an accurate depiction of them. Maybe a bit on the tired and strung outside, but still extremely accurate. I don't know if you haven't noticed this, but this is an extremely popular thumbnail technique, especially in the video essay niche. Exaggerating features of someone to make it look dramatic or to make them look ugly is done literally all the time. Don't sit there and act like your terminally online ass doesn't know this. You see it literally every day. Why does Keffels deserve any sort of special treatment? It surely isn't because they are a good person. It's for one reason and for one reason reason only. Because they are trans. Look, I'm sorry to break it to you, buddy, but that doesn't mean you get any special treatment. Hey, how about this? How about you criticize literally any of the content of the over hour long piece? Nah, nah, can't do that. That might take some effort. Let's just go with the most bottom of the barrel criticism I could think of. Nice one, bro. 
Additionally, there are people dead naming and misgendering her in the replies. This also happened the last time you brought her up. You haven't said anything on it, nor have you tried to stop it. Do you not realize how many hundreds of thousands of subscribers this guy has? He just isn't responsible to monitor thousands of comments of people that might be mean to poor Keffels. That just isn't his responsibility. And using that as a way to write off this entire video is some of the most pathetic shit I've ever seen. Hey, here's an interesting question. Does Keffels monitor their community for people bullying people that Keffels are talking about? Nope. In fact, they encourage it all the time. With all this petty ratio brigading they're famous for. Ever watch a Keffels stream? Ever read the chat? It's literally just a bunch of terminally online bullies using being trans as the ultimate shield against anyone that doesn't agree with them. Do you realize who you're defending? Something tells me you jumped the gun trying to get some quick Twitter interaction. And to be honest, I'm questioning this whole I think Keffels is a horrible person bit you started this with. This just comes off as completely ingenuine. But who knows, maybe you're just stupid. That could be a distinct possibility. All I do know is that Keffels is going to have a real hard time hiding behind the trans defense shield this time. Good luck with that.